If you look around the, right, the lab, you can see a lot of computers. Here there are pictures of many of, of our teachers. There is also a lab teacher in the lab. <coughs> You can ask the lab teacher for help with anything related to your study or using the lab. In the back is the ESL library. On the top shelves of the bookcase, on the right are the readers. These are sets of books with limit vocabulary. The books and the sets have little numbers on them. Each set has easy books with low numbers. One, two, and three. The more advanced Books are numbered four, five, and six. With hundreds of books to practice and enjoy reading. We also have lots of biographies of famous people for intermediate students. When you choose a book, pick one that is easy enough for you to read quickly and easily. Look at one page and count one page and count how many words you don't know. Look at one page and count how many words you don't know. If there are more than five, you should probably take an easier one. You can borrow the book from this shelf for a few weeks. Put in the checkout date your name. your level and the name of your, your teacher. Then find the blue box. Choose the section by looking at the book's title. Then put the card in the right section. There are too many that start with a and da, so we don't count those. In this example, use D and F. When you bring book and back, find card from this book and put back in a book. You can put a book in a shelf uh, and the teacher will put the book in the right way. These books over are dictionaries. You can use these dictionaries in a lab, but you cannot take them home. In the back section, there are some file drawers. Look what's inside. These books all have recording on tape. You can listen to the tape while you read the book.